mae eisteddfod geddorol rhyngwladol Llangollen wedi bod yn gweithio gyda chanolfan Cymru ar gyfer materion rhyngwladol dros y ddwy flynedd ddwethaf i ddod â seremoni gwobre Young Peacemakers i'r prif lwyfan yn Llangollen. Calon giro'r eisteddfod rhyngwladol yw ein neges heddwch i'r holl genhedloedd. Mae'r gwobre'r Young Peacemakers yn ffordd wych i'r eisteddfod ymuno ar canolfan materion rhyngwladol i ddod at ei gilydd i ddathlu pobl ifanc Cymru sydd wedi cyfrannu at heddwch a dinasyddiaeth fi deiang yn eu hysgol, eu cymuned leol, neu'n fi deiang mewn amryw o ffyrdd. Oherwydd pandemig COVID-19, mae gwobre'r Young Peacemakers i gynigain yn cael eu cynnal nid ar ein llwyfan enwog, ond fel rhan o'n rhaglen eisteddfod ddigidol Llangollen ar lain. Rydym yn falch iawn o fod mewn partneriaeth a chanolfan Cymru dros faterion rhyngwladol a diolch iddynt a mae gwaith yn parhau ar gwobre, hyd yn oed gyda'r anawsterau digunsail y mae ugain ugain wedi taflu at bob un ohonom. Ac wrth gwrs, diolch i'r holl bobl ifanc sydd wedi ymuno ar amrywiol categorie a llawer o longyfrchadau i'r holl enillwyr. Thank you, diolch. Mentor ar y cyd rhwng Canolfan Materion Rhyngladol Cymru ac Eisteddfod Rhyngladol Llyngollen yw gwobrau heddychwyr ifanc Cymru. Fe ddatblygodd o prosiect Cymru dros heddwch a weithiodd rhwng 2014 a 2018 i ymchwilio a rhannu storiau yn ymwneud â threfthadaeth heddwch Cymru yn y can mlynedd ers y Rhyfel Byd Cyntaf. The Wales for Peace project uncovered a rich seam of stories which told of the horrors of war and the untiring work of men and women across generations committed to promoting peace, justice and international understanding in Wales. There was the generation of young men snatched from their families to die in the trenches, such as the poet of the black chair, Heath Wynne, and those such as George M. L. Davis, who suffered imprisonment rather than disobey the commandment not to kill. We learnt of communities who extended a welcoming hand to refugees and asylum seekers, Belgian refugees during World War I and Basque children during the Spanish Civil War. We were inspired by the men and women after World War I who worked tirelessly to promote the League of Nations and by the young people who have been involved in sending the message of peace and goodwill to the young people of the world every year from 1922 up until today. It's years since we have heard from the Welsh children, said a response from Germany in 1946. How it grew dark. We would like to hear from you again. A key aim of the Wales for Peace project was to involve young people in uncovering and recreating stories about Wales' peace heritage and to inspire them to become the next generation of peacemakers. We know that young people care deeply about equality, justice and the future of the planet. The Young Peacemakers Awards enables young people to respond to stories and events and express their hopes and dreams for a more peaceful and sustainable future in a variety of creative ways through art, writing, music, film and performance. Young people's response has been powerful and moving. I mentioned just a few of the contributions received in previous years. A sculpture depicting the plight of refugees and asylum seekers forced to leave their homes and undertake perilous journeys to seek safety. A shirt depicting the horrors of the Holocaust. A composition of barbed wire, mustard gas and a bullet depicting the horror of the World War I trenches. A joint story about the pollution of the oceans created by a Year 5 class in Swansea. And a kindness project delivered by a group of Year 9 pupils in Ammonford. We have not been disappointed again this year. We thank all the children, young people and their families who have taken part in the awards and look forward to celebrating the winning contributions. 
We are also grateful this year to the Welsh sculptor, David Pettersson, who has created a unique peace trophy to be awarded to the young person judged to have made the greatest contribution to peace during the year. Jolcan Vaur Eto i Bawr, Aki e Stutford Rhyngladol Llangollen. A drachan ymlaen at ceremony o'r llwyfan yn 2021. Hello, Shemai, Venu i yw Jacob Ellis, ac rydw i'n gweithio i swyddfa Comisiynydd Cenedlaethau'r Dyfodol, ac mae'n bleser gen i'ch croesawu chi i seremoni wobrwyo hyddychwyr i Fanc Cymru 2021. Hello there, my name's Jacob Ellis, and I work for the Office of the Future Generations Commissioner for Wales. And on behalf of the Commissioner, I'd like to welcome you to the Young Peacemakers Award Ceremony 2020. We've been moved and inspired by the contributions received this year, nearly 60 entries despite the challenges of the COVID lockdown. The entries speak volumes for the energy and creativity of young people in Wales and show clearly the kind of world and kind of Wales young people want to live in, where peace and sustainability come high on the agenda. Many thanks to all those young people and supporting adults that have made this year's awards possible. Of course, in Wales, we have the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act. Seven national wellbeing goals. One of those goals, of course, is to have a globally responsible Wales. And that's about ensuring that the actions that we take here in Wales and the decisions that we make take into account that global impact, the global um, contribution that we want to make. However small the actions here in Wales will have uh, some consequence and some impact on the world around us. And when we communicate and tell people about the world leading legislation that we have here in Wales, we remind countries and NGOs and other people across the world how welcoming, open and inclusive we are here in Wales, where we have contributed for centuries towards the peaceful and the peace movement uh, here in Wales and across the world. Of course, when we talk about peace here in Wales, we're not only thinking uh, about conflict, but also talking about the types of communities that we want to live in, about cohesive communities, peaceful communities, and of course, peace of ourselves, of our own well-being, and peace in our homes, uh, and all the issues that surround that. So I'm really excited by the contributions that our young people have made towards this year's ceremony and the contributions that they make on a daily basis to remind Welsh Government, public bodies and others of the role they play in ensuring that we are a globally responsible nation. However, that's enough uh, of delay. You want to know exactly who has won and who uh, has put their contributions forward in this year's awards. Heb oedi pellach felly dyma'n gyda uh, yn enillwyr yn y seremoni gwobrwyo uh, hyddychwyr i Fanc Cymru 2021. Dyma ni felly cyfle i ni wobrwyo ein categori cyntaf ni sef dinysyddion byd eang Young Global Citizens. In the first place, yn y safle cyntaf, llangfachiadau mawr i Magda Smith Ysgol Dyffryn Aman. The judges said that we were hugely impressed by Magda's knowledge of global issues and the way she has inspired others and worked with them to take action and make a difference. They said, a fantastic ambassador for global citizenship going forward. Llangobachiadau mawr i ti Magda. An aile in the second place was Irth Gobaith Cymru with their Neges Heddwch ac Awyllus Da. Fe wynebodd Neges Heddwch ac Awyllus Da sydd wedi darlledu yn ddidor ers bron cant o fynyddoedd her arbennig eleni bi rhaid i'r bobl i fanc gyda chefnogaeth gan Eirydd Gobeth Cymru a fasu ei neges yn gyflym i fod yn berthnasol i fyd oedd yn dioddau gan ac yn ymateb i COVID-19. Mae ei fideo a neges bwerus i arweinwyr y byd yn mynegu'n glir awydd pobl i fanc am newid yn seliedig ar ofal dros yr amgylchfyd a llesiant pobl. The judges said that the message of peace and goodwill which has been broadcast on the 18th of May each year for almost 100 years, faced particular challenges this year. Uh, they were impressed by the way the young people supported by Yerth Gobaith Cymru adapted their message quickly so that it was relevant to world 
uh, to a world suffering from and reacting to COVID-19. Their video speaks powerfully to world leaders with the clear message that young people would like change based on care of the environment and of well-being. And it's fantastic, they said, that the message reached 9 million people on Twitter and 5 million on Instagram. Llangon a chiadau mawr i erth gobeith Cymru. Ac hefyd yn yr ail safle, cydradd ail felly uh, joint second place were Lily Evans, Rhys Thomas, Chloe Barlow and Kai Lawrence, uh, pupils in year 8 of Ysgol Coed Cae School. Uh, the judges were impressed by the way Lily, Rhys, Chloe and Kyle have worked together to raise awareness and respond creatively to the issues of climate change. Their video demonstrates a thoroughly researched perspective on climate change which is articulated clearly and critically. An inspiring entry, they said, which shows high levels of collaboration and thought. Well done, indeed. Well done to everybody uh, who competed, who proposed and then collaborated uh, in that category. Uh, and once again. The second category, Dadan Sothwyr Bid Eyan Ivanc Young Global Analysts. Uh, and Gunsav and Gunsav in a category am first there in this in this category, uh, Sam Barrett, uh, again from a skull Dufrin Aman. Sam's understanding of climate change is profound and underpinned by independent research and an impressive level of critical thinking. His response to the global issues have been particularly inspiring. Those are the words of the judges from coordinating strikes to speaking at teacher training events and engaging with community members. Sam has shown he is willing to stand up for climate action and influence others. Sam. Well done. Uh, congratulations. An Isle, in second place from a Skolkum Rumni, Fion Griffith. Uh, in the hon, ma Fion and Amdrin and Verniado, a car sail and quill, aromatic, irum arcavum, covid in the now and videan, ar canliade, tobacco. Gwetharogo the Berniad duet glorethical and Benotto save a casket, my inig for them, drin or problem, a cumbleth, a greyed gang covid in the now, a true gid with yon, rumlator. Dive a scrivenid cafredinol, a can headloid, an edig Antonio Gideres, yer in casket, nodino obeth in egid. Um, in this article, Fion has taken a critical and well-researched approach to the way the coronavirus crisis has been handled globally and its possible outcomes. The adjudicator particularly appreciated the note on which the article ends, that the only way to tackle the complex pressures created by coronavirus is through international cooperation. And those words were echoed by the UN Secretary General uh, and is a hope for all of us. Congratulations to everybody uh, in that category, to Fion and to Sam, uh, indeed young global analysts of today and of tomorrow. Well done to you both. The third category in Drydiv that the young performer, a performer Ivanc, Ak and Kali Wabruya, and in the category of Mama Leah Mererid, um, Kerdor Penny Gamp. Uh, Ulea no la Berniad, my Namlog, Akunithani, Vun Hai, Chloe de Farponiade, are a piano. Ar Benhani, Gwithred, Oidin Dangos, Empathy, Adavis Garuch, Oidin Ivedul am Gasestia, Hain Bobol, and Echemined, Achware Darne, Gazorient, Idint, Dosophon, Igodi has spread, and a sort of uh, Covid indignau. Uh, but the weather of uh, Berniad, Lea was like a little candle during this very dark time. I was moved by her music, and we always have a little chat afterwards. Um, it's obvious that Leah is a wonderful musician, and we enjoyed hearing some of her piano performances on video. On top of that, the idea to contact elderly people in her community and play pieces of music to them over the phone to cheer them up during lockdown showed great empathy and ingenuity. Um, but the wedding from Danny, Leah was like a little candle during this very dark time. Uh, this was from Anne. Uh, we've got the name in front of me here. I was moved by her music, and we always have a little chat afterwards. Well, dear Khamaruti Lea, I'm Gavrani and I'm a summer, and I started a covenant there, and I know the new the board and even Ebi. Thank you, Lea. You know, it's been a very difficult time for many residents uh, across across Wales and, and further afield who I'm sure appreciated uh, an opportunity to escape the dark times that were in. Uh, especially with loneliness and isolation being such a, a crisis here in Wales uh, as well. So, diolch, uh, Lea, and uh, congratulations. Uh, artist Ivanc, young artist, that's the, the next category. 
uh, ac yn gyntaf in the first place, Seren McDonald, a skull David Hughes. Um, this is what the, the judges said. Mae Seren wedi creu poster pueris a gwreiddiol yn cynnwys nifer o themau yn ymwneud a heddwch ac yn edrych ar problemau a datrysiadau. Mae'r brif neges heddwch yn sefyll allan megis enfys ar gefn deir o faneri yn cysylltu ag gilydd fel jigso. I slaw mae ysgwyd llaw rhwng di a gwyn yn digwydd uwch ben darlun o'r byd. Darn gwych o gelf gan hyddychwraig ifanc. The judges said that Seren has created a really powerful original poster covering many topics relating to peace and looking both at problems and solutions. The main messages of Heddwch jumps out in a rainbow of colours from a jigsaw of interlocking countries. In the foreground, an interracial handshake over a painting of the world. A superb example of art created by a young peacemaker. Llong o fachiadau, mawr i ti, Seren. Well done. An ail uh, hefyd o ysgol David Hughes, uh, Ivan Roberts in second place, also from Ysgol David Hughes, Ivan Roberts. Uh, dyma ddwedodd uh, y beirniad mae delwedd Ivan o'r golomen yn hedfan dros y byd sydd yn syml, ond eto yn haran o ysgeifig yn dweud cyfrolau am bwysigrwydd heddwch yn un byd heb ddefnyddio geiriau. Mae manylion y traed ar pig cochion a gwyrdd yr olywydden yn cyferbynnu gyda ffyrdeb y golomen ac yn ychwanegu at harddwch yr hedfaniad delwedd llang gobaith. Ivan's simple yet beautifully elegant dove flying over a painting of the world speaks volumes about the importance of peace in our world without actually using any words. The details of the red claws and beak and green olive branch contrast with the purity of the dove and enhance the dove's flight. A hopeful, unifying image. Llan gofachiadau mawr i Ivan ac i Seren Ysgol David Hughes, ond yn ydrydydd safle mae demi Ivan Cyrsei, Mae ddewch i fi a fydd rhyw gan uh, ehangu uh, yr enw yn fan Demi Ivan Cyrsei, ysgol tu'r deunaw uh, a mae'r beiniad yn gweud mae Demi wedi cynhyrchu dau boster Word Photo Cryf dyr weather pwerus sydd yn eich gwahodd i sefyll yn stond ac edrych. Yn yr un gyntaf, mae'r dwylo wedi plethu yn ei gilydd yn gwthio hiliaeth i ffwr tra bod y geiriau gwmpas y llun yn dangos sut y gall caradigrwydd ar rannu yr ysegyn rhagfarn. Mae'r ail ddelwedd yn dangos sut rydym yn dal y byd yn ein dwylo, a ffawd yw'n cyfrifoldeb ni. Demi has produced two bold word photo posters, strong images that invite you to stand and look. The first, entwined hands push away racism, whilst the surrounding words show how prejudice can be overcome through friendship and sharing. The second image illustrates how we hold the world in our hands and we're responsible for its fate. And all that, ond yn heidi yr un gymaint o gymeradwyaeth, yn y drydydd safle'n fyth eto, felly yn, yn gydradd drydydd uh, gyda demi, mae Marissa Wood, ysgol tu'r deunaw hefyd. Cawson gan Marissa dwy ddelwedd fwyd ffoto bwerus yr un yn cydbwyso'n dda gyda'r llall, yn y ddau lun dymnyddiodd yr artist ddwylo i bortreadu pwysigrwydd caradigrwydd, rhannu a chynorthwyo yn y byd eang. Roedd y map manol ar ben y dwylo agored yn effeithiol ac yn aros yn y cof. Marissa entered two very strong word photo images that complemented each other, both using hands to betray the importance of worldwide kindness, sharing and helping. The detailed map superimposed on hands was very effective and memorable. Llang fachiadau i ti Marissa, i Demi ac i Ivan ac i Seren um, am eich uh, safleoedd heifianol yn y categori um, Artist Ifanc. In in seven of line, the category Nessa Audir Ivank, young writer category. We'll move on to that next. Uh, and in the first place, in the Savla Kentama, Gweno Lois Robinson. Clavachiade, E.T. Gweno, Casclad, Duyetho, Go Escriveni, Credi Golsilama, and Canuis Soned, Storyver, Araith, Ak Escriv, E.T. Uh, Dibod, and Brasilia, and Gweno. And Giria Bedned, Dama, Casclad, Greenness of Wife, to the Compassio Thema, and Esterlon Adiathis. Mae gan yr ymgeisydd ddawn dweud dros ystod eang o ffurfiau. Llong gofachiadau Gweno. Gweno has given us a bilingual collection of creative writing, including a sonnet, a short story, a speech and an essay. Uh, Gweno has been very busy during this, this lockdown period. In the words of the adjudicator, a collection of high quality writing which addressed the theme in a meaningful and intelligent manner. The writer is able to express herself in a variety of different forms. Congratulations, Gweno. Yn ail mae Cael Lawrence Caid Cae School. Uh, the poem is cl- cleverly devised that it can be read from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. In itself is an al- allegory 
I believe that's how that's pronounced. Uh, forgive me if not. Its main message is one of empowerment. A better, more peaceful world is within our grasp, and it's up to us to ensure that it comes out. An Isle and Gadran Isle Vetli Gadakai Lawrence Map Begu David, the Skull David Hughes. Bar Gobaith see their wife from Hin, in seen sicker, a be more in the world bead or heavuch. On seen a grimming grim or inig far the maid honey, a true word in the Vilion in Gilev. Thou have in Shoni with your gay of D, Mother Begu. Thou have pissed in Kalon I me. Do in the Kiona, and thou have have in Shoni with your gay of D, thou hast pissed in Kalonaini. Uh, very nice. There's this poem full of hope, expressing the conviction that a world of peace is possible if we can learn to overcome inequality and injustice and to extend the hand of friendship. And a dreaded savle, man a couple and when van hin, a gunta, and a dreaded savle, ma Eden Bakarevi, um, Bakarevi. Ac rwy'n geni eto am can ynghani. Uh, Ysgol David Hughes yn fanadau awn ei dyn cerdd fyfyrgar sydd yn llwyddo i ddweud llawer mewn ychydig meddyrbyniad. Mae'n awdur yn gweud y cysylltiad rhwng trachwant a rhyfel ac yn gweld heddwch yn rhywbeth i dde hei amdano rhwng ffrindiau a hefyd yn fi deian. A thoughtful poem which exceeds in saying a great deal in a few words. Ac eto yn y dyddys safle yma Alaw Roberts, Ysgol David Hughes i'n fath eto, cerdd syml ond y ffeithiol yn mynegi awr ar oedd y cad cariad i'r awdur. Mae'r llinell olaf yn drawiadol meddyrbyniad yn cymharu heddwch ac angel yn agor ei hadenydd. A simple yet effective poem expressing what peace means to the author, to Alaw. Great. And lastly, in, in, in the third place, jointly with Alaw and Eden, it's another A, it's Anna Williams and, yes, from Ysgol David Hughes. Mae'r gerdd yn dechrau trwy restru pob ddim sydd yn codi ofn ar yr awdur. Heddwch, heddwch yw'r ateb med yr awdur, ond mae hi'n awyddus iddo ddod yn gyflym. Dwi'n gweithio ffynu pan fyddwn yn medru gwrando ar ein gilydd yn sicr. This poem starts with a list of all the things the author is afraid of. The answer to all these problems is peace. But there's a feeling of urgency at the end of the poem. Peace needs to come quickly, but that will only happen when we learn to listen to one another. Diolch o fawr a llanwylliadau i Anna, Alaw ac Eden o ysgol uh, David Hughes sydd yn cael ei gwybrio gyda'r trydydd safle i begw yn ail, gyda cael wrth gwrs yn ail hefyd, ac yn gyntaf llanwylliadau mawr i Gweno Lois Robinson. Gweno fe taking the first prize in the Young Writer category. Ac felly fydd o ni at y nillwyr gwabra heddychwyr ifanc Cymru 2021. Nid penderfyniad hawdd oedd hyn yn ôl y beirniad rydym yn ddiolchgar tu hwnt i'r holl oedolion o ysgolion a mudiadau ei enctyd ac oedolion sy wedi annog a chefnogi'r bobl ifanc a gyflwynodd geisiadau yn ystod y cyfnod anodd hwn. Roedd ddim yn chwilio yn anad dim am bobl ifanc gwreiddiol a mentrys, pobl ifanc gyda gweredigaeth dros heddwch cyrfoldeb a chynoliadwyedd ac oedd wedi gwneud gwahaniaeth. Cymeron ni mewn i ystyriaeth y gallu i feddwl yn feirniadol ac edrych ar faterion wahanol safbwyntiau. Rydym yn falch iawn o gyhoeddi felly bod gennym enillwyr heiddiannol. And so we come to the overall winners of the Wales Young Peacemakers Awards 2020. This was not an easy decision to make and we're extremely grateful to all the adults and from schools and youth organisations and to parents during lockdown who have encouraged and supported the young people who submitted entries. At the same time, we were looking for young people who had shown originality and initiative, young people with a driving vision for peace, equality and sustainability, and who had made a difference. We also took into account the ability to think critically and look at issues from different perspectives. On that basis, we're glad to announce the following winners. And Dredith and a Dredith Sable in the third position, a skull tier day now. The night the skull can rather tier day now, a bird tower, Gavraniad and Vauri Guabre, and can we sniver of a shade at Rangelv, Arthur Stioleth and Brescecte, Mithpoid Nestorithmus, or Fulio, Acker Gaver, Div, a Covio. Rather than half yawn or video grey would get a plant in Dangos, it would be deathly durnod, in noddy do weather I level bead in Europe. A skull gun rather than now in Swansea made a huge contribution to the awards, including numerous entries of the art category and evidence of projects carried out during anti-bullying week 
and for Remembrance Day. We love the video collated from images sent in by the children to show how they had marked VE Day during lockdown. Llogobachiadau eich chi ysgol ti'r day now. Yn ail, in the second uh, position, mae ysgol eich cyffair. Year six pupils chose to explore sustainable development goal number 16, which is peace, justice and stronger institutions, as a goal they wanted to know more about as contributing to the sort of world they wanted to live in by 2030. Their work is innovative and wide-ranging. They put themselves in the shoes of refugees and thought about those forced to flee from war-torn countries today. They practised cooking on rations and explored what it means to have to rely on food banks in their own community. Their explorations led to them from interviewing people in their community to exploring how the legal system works in the UK. This is a brilliant example of young people learning what a sustainable development goal means for them as citizens, locally and globally. Well done. Congratulations to you, Eskol Ekefer. On the Gunta, in first position and receiving uh, awards here for young peacemakers. Bit of suspense at this point. And a good time, actually, a skull dufrin aman. First place to a skull dufrin aman. We were overawed by the work of Magda and Sam as climate activists and young global leaders. It was obvious from their contributions that they had been supported and encouraged by their school, and in particular by their teacher, Dr. Gareth Holmes. We thank a skull dufrin aman for enabling Sam and Magda to think creatively about climate change, to take action and really make a difference. A Skull Dufferin Aman will therefore be the first school to hold the Wales Young Peacemakers Trophy for a year until the award ceremony this time next year. Potentially uh, not virtually in different circumstances, but we congratulate them all on their achievement. Cawso mein hysbrydoli yn llwyr gan waith Magda a Sam yn arweinwyr ifanc sydd yn gweithredu dros amgylchyd. Roedd yn amlwg i bod wedi derbyn anogaeth a chefnogaeth gan ei ysgol a chan ei hathro Dr Gareth Holmes yn benodol. Diolchwn i Ysgol Dyffryn Aman am alluogi Sam a Magda i feddwl yn fyrniadol am newid hinsawdd i weithredu a gwneud gwahaniaeth. Ysgol Dyffryn Aman felly fydd yr ysgol gyntaf i dderbyn tlws a fychwyr i banc Cymru am flwyddyn, tan y seremoni wobrwyo'r flwyddyn nesaf. Rydym yn ei llangyfarch ar ei cyflawniad ac i'r holl yn llwyr yn uh, y gwabren i'r seremoni wobrwyo eleni a mae wedi bod yn bleser cyhoeddi i'r enillwyr uh, i chi. It's been a pleasure to share the winners uh, with you uh, in this strange virtual world. So on behalf of the Commissioner's Office, on behalf of the organisers, uh, on behalf of the adults and all the children who will be benefiting from your contribution on a daily basis, uh, congratulations, keep doing what you're doing so we can fight for the Wales that we want. Mm -hmm.